Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another day of taking care of my father. And today is Tuesday the 17th, and today was not a very good day. Um, got out there to kind of check on him and stuff before the appointment we had talking to SSDI. And I got there, my brother was already there ahead of me, which was fine. I'm surprised he was there at all. But of course, walking in, and he's not talking to dad, he's not doing nothing. He's just sitting there, staring at the wall, he's not checking on him, he's not really doing much there. So... I end up um, waiting around for that phone call. I end up finding out through, basically through the room, room, uh, rumors, grapevine that, that I've been trying to get a hold of hospice lately, and they're not calling me back, they're not contacting me back, and I can't figure out what's going on. And by doing a little detective work, I find out the fact that Heather, my brother's wife, called up hospice and told them they're not allowed to speak to me anymore because of the fact that dad put Jeff down as first medical provider, or medical decision maker for the medical director directive and now I'm like stuck out of the loop which is amazing to the fact that every time anything's happened to him whether it be he needs to go to respite care he needs to go to he wants to go to the hospital every time the staff has trouble with Continental they're contacting me first because my brother won't answer his phone and that and plus he won't talk to them they don't have a good rapport with him I'm out there every single day except for Sunday which is when my brother was supposed to be out there with the grandkids and all that good stuff and they didn't show up so as of right now, I'm wanting to just want to freak the hell out. I want to go in there and just rip my brother's head off, and telling the fact that if you're going to have your wife pulling this shit, then you get your ass out there more often. You sit with him, and you spend every day with him, and you help get him up, you help get him dressed, you help get him to lunch and dinner and breakfast and all that. And he's not doing it. So I just was pissed off as I'll get out. Then I also go over and talk to my grandparents afterwards and find out my brother's all pissed off. Him and his wife are both mad because they believe they got everything. They believe they were supposed to get all his money, his farm, everything. And the wills he wrote up stated it was supposed to be split amongst the four of us. There's my, myself, my brother, and two stepkids. And I don't know why my brother thinks he deserves it all, but he's all pissed off now like crazy. So not only had Dad died without a will, it would have been split up amongst the two of us at least, because I don't know if the stepkids were ever legally adopted. But the fact that he has any money left at all at the end is going to be surprising if it even happens at all. But it's one of those deals where... It's just, I don't know, it's a big pain in the ass. And he's just stirred shit constantly. And, of course, my grandparents didn't stand up to him. They didn't say, well, your father wanted this, and this is what's right. So, definitely, he thinks I'm the one that got in his ear. He's all pissy about shit. He's getting all mad because I'm the one out there. Dad's talking to me, and Dad's giving me his wishes. And he's madder than hell about that fact. So, I went ahead and got his um, funeral plan. Got it all wrote, check wrote out off Dad's account through Grandpa. But he's just, he's being a jackass about all kind of stuff. And I just... I'm sick and tired of it. Everybody's telling me just to settle down and basically let this go through, and I don't see how it's going to happen. So, pretty much where I'm at, I'm the type of person that wins. There's something being done wrong. I want to confront it right now instead of letting it fester. The longer it sits around and festers, the worse off it's going to be. So, other than that, I don't really know much. So, that's all I've got for today. I just, I don't know. Dad's doing better. He kind of comes and goes. He had a couple of good moments, had a couple of bad moments. He spoke with the minister today from hospice comes around that and basically I heard him say the fact that he was happy and he's ready to die so the first time I heard him say he was happy which I'm glad that's the case and go from there so other than that I don't really know much so I'll talk to you guys later have yourself a safe and wonderful day and regardless of how torp your family is no matter what um, you think you're working on it together all you can do is be the best you, you that you can be and hope they come around and they be the best they can be so can't make decisions for other people, unfortunately, but all I can do is keep trying to make my father's end of his life as most pleasant as possible. So I'll talk to you soon.